recording. Okay, so um, the first thing that I just want to say is like, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but today Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, also the founder and CEO of Amazon, um, he basically gave a speech to Amazon employees where he was like, where he was like, he said the following, he said, if we start to focus on ourselves instead of focusing on the customers, that will be the beginning of the end. And then he talked about how it's like inevitable for um, Amazon to go out of business because every company does. And like <clears throat> the first thing that is going to make that happen is if people start to get selfish. And I just thought that was cool. That was a really powerful quote. And I wanted to kind of start off with that, that it's always important to focus on the customer. Like this is their wedding. So, <clears throat> okay. Um, so yeah, no more recordings, like all the way through for weddings and no more story videos. So this is hopefully to you guys' relief. We will not be doing um, like if they ask you to like record vows, none of that, no audio recordings at all from video, no story videos in lieu, uh, first look videos. Those are, um, <clears throat> those are not happening anymore. So, um, if they ask you to say, we don't do that and apologize. Um, but that's just because it's too hard to train. It's totally extra equipment and it's a pain for everybody. So hopefully that helps. Um, <clears throat> the next thing is just remember to reply to brides after wedding. So there has been confusion and, and this, you know, this isn't, essentially your guys' faults, but um, there has been confusion about like who is going to talk to them and handle it and do customer service. So um, please, um, please like if they come to you asking for a wedding video, like what's the status? Um, at least the, the least you can do is just point them in the direction of Rachel um, instead of just like, you know, not replying to them or assuming somebody else will. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. Um, and you know, if you want to go the extra mile and do some awesome customer service, like you can reach out to the editor yourself and say, Hey, where, where are we at with this? But just remember that we have had a couple of brides that are like, Hey, I haven't heard from this person. And when I reached out to that person, they were like, Oh, well, I thought Rachel was going to handle it. So there was just a little bit of confusion. So, um, <clears throat> this one sucks, but, um, this is basically that grounds of firing term uh, separation, whatever, like termination. I'll kind of give you some context. So if you guys know Sky Norton, I don't know how many of you shot with him. We had some serious drama um, and he actually deleted two full weddings off of an SD card um, one, one week after another and <clears throat> was really rude about it and it was kind of a nightmare. And so um, we thought we figured we'd have to come up with some degree of like, like I got yelled at obviously a lot, I lost money and, and it was, I didn't sleep for like a week because I felt so bad. So that was obviously like, we're pretty much the worst thing that could happen and he's no longer with us. But um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to a system of, if there is like a giant mistake made by a contractor, like a big refund or um, I don't know, just like a really unhappy bride that maybe you were like deliberately rude to. I'm not talking about bridezillas who are mad at everything, but like if there was an actual mistake that you made, like you know, deleting maybe the actual turnaround portion of a first look or something like that that is gonna like Basically, we're going to give you a strike, and this goes for editors as well. And so, if if like if you deliver a video that like is honestly not up to company standards, um, we'll we'll basically just call you and be like, "Hey guys, um, listen, like we've had a we've had a concern. Like this is basically strike one, and um, you know we'll we'll give you a chance, like because we don't want anyone to leave, like just everyone to improve and get better. And then if something happens a second time, at that point we can have a conversation where we maybe. Um, try to figure it out so i'm not trying to like scare you or threaten you i'm just trying to let you know what happened with sky i just figured we'd set a standard because like he was i guess surprised and angry why i didn't think you know it was going to work for him to be with us although it's kind of obvious that after deleting two weddings like that's not I, that's not i would have to say that so um switching is going to be a last resort only so a new rule is after the first phone call is done you can't switch unless there's like an actual emergency so if you, if you are, and we won't assign them to you, you know, like, um, we'll only assign them to you five months out. So right now we're only assigning February and December will be assigning March. So just as long as your schedule is put together, you can kind of know, um, you know, you can know where you're going to be. Um, <clears throat> no, and I say this once again, because I've had some very upset brides calling me saying, I, this is extremely unprofessional. I'm getting bounced around left and right. Like, there's just been switching is like, oh, this wedding is more convenient for me to film or, oh, this wedding is, I might, might as well just switch it because somebody else, I don't know. So um, it's just a professionalism thing to protect everyone's name. Um, after the first phone call is done, we're going to just like um, not, not have any switching. Now, the only exception with that is going to be first like videos and engagement or um, bridal shoots. 
of course we want those to happen um, by you and it's way better if that happens but once again all of us know if they're like hey I've booked a premium package and I already have my date set for my bridles at that point like that's okay with me um, it's not preferable but and we'll show you how to do that in the new software but for the actual wedding day we don't want to switch um, and we, you know and, and, if, and if you do have to switch because of an emergency like Tia you know like she got pregnant that absolutely makes sense to everybody um, call Rachel and get permission first and then you have to call the bride and get permission and explain um, because if you don't then they, they come after me and then I've got to call you and like you probably have a really legitimate reason right it's just that they they don't know that so if you can call them and explain to them kindly like what's going on that would be awesome <clears throat> um, this is another change just once again kind of based on skies the videographer is gonna get paid once the footage is actually uploaded on box and all of it this actually won't throw a kink in the system too much, as you might think, because when we switch to QuickBooks, it's gonna be a 24 hour processing time anyways. So let's say you have a wedding on like Friday night, and on Sat, like you get the footage uploading, and then like, you know, Saturday morning, you text me, you're like, hey, it's uploaded. I will instantly go in on QuickBooks, I'll type in the pay, I'll send it to you. It's still gonna be there by Monday. And if you do it on Saturday, it's still gonna be there by Monday. So. This is just to make sure that we don't miss any weddings. Hope you guys can understand. Like once again, we're not trying to be mean. It's just, it's just um, to make sure that we're all good there. So photographer will still get paid day of because it's different because you are actually holding on to that. But the videographer, we just don't want to lose any more footage. <clears throat> okay, this is kind of cool. It's BTM University. Um, this is going to be something that will hopefully help you guys. Um, it is a YouTube channel called BTM University. And um, we are gonna upload training videos on here. So as I go through the software and I explain to you like how to use it, I totally understand if some of it goes over your head and if, or if there's parts that you forget, because it's a lot. So I have actually come through here and I have recorded training videos on how to invoice, how to do final payments, how to communicate with the team you know, here, um, how to use the pipeline feature, what happens if they wanna pay on Venmo, how do you switch an extra session? What's the process? So if you have those questions, um, they will all be answered here. If you have a question that's not answered, shoot me a text. I'll make a training video. But I just want it to be easy for everyone. Like, so you don't have to go rewatch this whole 45 minute training. You can get a really quick breakdown of information. Another awesome feature that we're gonna do is we are going to have trainings from um, our team leads is what we're gonna call them. So, so pretty much effective immediately, Daniel is gonna be the video team lead, and Amelia will be the photo team lead. And um, so if you are a videographer and you have questions about like, I don't know, if you're concerned about shooting a certain, like a first look, if you're nervous about it and you know the process, you would call Daniel. And he's gonna be reaching out to you to set up like a Zoom meeting where he'll do, you know, he'll kinda talk to you guys and, and um, brainstorm and basically see like what's working, what's not working. We're just gonna try to like make it so you have more points of contact so it's easier for you. Um, same with Amelia, Amelia Amelia's gonna be the same one for photos, so she's gonna be who to go to if you need training, if you need help, if you have questions. Uh, if you don't know where to upload something, if you need a password, like she's gonna be the one to help you out with that. Um, and she will also be texting you guys to set up a meeting. But um, they and of course other team members, we will have you guys do trainings on maybe editing or posing or something like that that we will add to BTM University. So it's an awesome resource for you guys to basically um, go to and, and get some questions answered and also hopefully learn some cool skills. I mean, maybe we have an editor who's really good at like, I don't know, I mean, you know, like coloring. And so we can have, like I know Ben is really good at coloring and so we can have like a, like a, a coloring specific training video um, that we could do. I just want it to be an opportunity for everybody to grow. So if you could go subscribe real quick, BTM University, that's all it is. Got a cute little picture of the logo with a grad hat. Um, that would be cool. So um, that is gonna be a great resource for you to go and, and, and get answers. Like I said, I'm happy to do training videos once um, so we can answer questions for everyone in the future and it's just a good way to, you guys don't feel dumb asking, you know, and uh, or feel bad. If you do ask me a question that's got a video, I'll send you a YouTube link that's not passive aggressive, that's just me trying to answer your question. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah, so that is that. <clears throat> and then we're also starting a cool incentive program. So Jellica is going to be kind of our HR rep and um, she is going to uh, spearhead this. And so every single month we are gonna pick um, one contractor that's like VIP of the month. That means you are making your phone calls. 
you know how to use the software, you're contributing, you're watching some of those, because there are some extra BTM University videos on like customer service and stuff. You're doing everything right, and it's gonna be really easy to know, you know who's doing what. And we just wanna re reward you guys. So she'll be calling each of you within the next week or so to figure out your favorite restaurants, your favorite activities, favorite foods. We are gonna surprise one person a month with a big gift, uh, gift basket worth 100 bucks. Uh, maybe we'll, you know, maybe we'll come and like put it on your doorstep or something like that. Film a reaction, post it in the group. We just want to say like, but you know, we love you guys and we want to recognize you for doing, um, for doing awesome work. So that's going to be happening starting in December. So please be on top of stuff. And like, I promise we do notice the last thing is the Christmas party. So that's going to be December 3rd. Um, mark that on your calendars, December 3rd, about 6 PM is the tentative date. So, um, that is, going to be the date we've got a couple different things we're looking at but we, i will um release further details it's going to be fun okay it's not going to be a meeting it's going to be like hanging out we do have a white elephant so bring something um 10 to 15 dollars go buy something cool wrap it up and we'll do like a fun white elephant gift exchange so those are our announcements um <clears throat> so now let me jump over into honeybook so this is going to be awesome, guys. Um, I've got Daniel's view pulled up here. Um, we don't have all the weddings plugged in yet. So we've got uh, a lot of them, but not all of them. So, so don't freak out. But um, let's go ahead and just kind of jump right in. So the coolest thing about HoneyBook, which, by the way, we are officially like switching to December 1st, but you can use it now because all of your December weddings are in here, and this is what you should be using for those. Um, the coolest thing is that when you log in, you have your own personal page. And it's gonna tell you every single one of your weddings and your extra first look video engagements, bridal sessions, and the dates. So if you ever need to just know like exactly in a row every single wedding you have, it will just tell you right here. So that's gonna be awesome. You don't have to go sift through this giant list. Um, it allows you to assign it to two people at once. So if it's a, if it's a diamond special photo and video, both of you are going to be seeing this. Um, and both of you can comment on it. It's the same task, but both of you are going to have it. And so everyone is going to be able to know exactly what weddings they have. So that is awesome. And I'm super excited about that, <clears throat> but there's a lot more cool features. So the thing that I love the most is this pipeline feature. So it's kind of like Trello. If you've ever used that, where um, it is, oh yeah, you have a question? Yeah, sorry, you might answer this, but while we're here, um, is for the projects, is it, um, can you have multiple projects per client or is it just a client is a project? Yeah, great question. So a client is a project, but it is separated with, with wedding day and then any extra sessions are their, are, are, um, their own individual task. So, so, if you, and, and I will go into more depth on that. <clears throat> um, but that's, that's something that a lot of people have been asking for is like, it does get really confusing when you have extra sessions. So as you can see, like Gentry Hirsch, this is her first look video task. And that's on the 1st of December. If we scroll down here, her actual wedding day is January 15th, randomly on a Tuesday. And this is the wedding day task, which both photographer, if it was a special, both photographer and videographer would be on all the communication will happen on the wedding day task. But this is mostly just here to help you like hammer, you know, you can put the address for the first look, the time, if you have to assign it to somebody else, that's another reason why this is here. Does it make sense? Did that answer your question? Yeah, and do we, when we get a wedding, do we then make a first? No, no Rachel, yeah, great question. Rachel will handle all that for you. Okay. So by the time you get it, it'll be all set up and all you have to do is call them. So it'll be a lot easier. Yeah. Great question. Oh, anyway, so, well, okay. so once we get a wedding, the first look that will all be scheduled already. Um, if it's not scheduled, let me show you what will happen. So if she books you a premium package, she will make one for like the wedding day. Cause obviously the date is set. If they don't have a date for the first look or bridles, like all of these, it's just going to say to be determined. Okay. So when you're on your first phone call, you can click into Kaylee Kennington um, first look. So you got Tia on here and you have Daniel on here since they're both doing it. And so they both see it. Um, you can actually come on here and you can assign the date of whenever they decide to do that. So it does show up at the correct date. Does that make sense? Yep. Thanks. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> so, um, that is a really cool feature here. 
and I am recording this video. So like I said, if you have to go back, we also have break, individual breakdowns. So it's going to be super nice for everyone. Um, the coolest thing about the pipeline is the accountability. So here's kind of how we're going to run it. Inquiries all come to me directly from the website. They now come directly into HoneyBook. So um, I will be like messaging them and HoneyBook. So let, let me show you this. Um, this is going to be like, I just have a bajillion inquiries here from the last few days. And this is who I'm talking to. See, these people have paid the deposit. These people have signed it. When they've done that, I'm changing it to booked. I'm assigning it to Rachel. Oops. I'm assigning it to Rachel. And um, where did it go? Oh, yeah. I'm assigning it to Rachel. And she's actually going to like, she's going to handle everything from like making sure there's individual tasks built. They're all assigned to people, all of that stuff. So this is an example of what I'm going to do. When I'm done, that's, that's the ending of what I do. So um, the cool part about the pipeline is that <clears throat> if you come back here, you, when you get a wedding, it's going to say booked. That means, okay, that it has been assigned to you, but it has not been called yet. So um, you'll basically know really easily which ones you need to do the phone call for. So if this, you know, this is brand new and this is probably not fully up to date, but let's pretend that this, you know, five months from now, this was Daniel. This would not be very good, right? Because like when he finishes calling them, he is actually going to switch the stage to contact it. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Ideally, right, most of your brides, let's come over here to this one, you only have like a, a few of them that are booked and then the majority of them have been contacted, meaning you are just waiting for their wedding day to happen. Um, you want, and you wanna do that on both the first look task and also the actual wedding day task. So if you call somebody, you're gonna change both wedding day tasks and first look tasks to contact them, if that makes sense. So um, this is not, you know, you wanna like call these as soon as possible. What's nice is you can click on it and it will filter it to only the ones that you need to do the calls for. So that'll be way easier for you so you don't have to like ask Rachel. You click on that, boom, you know. Um, so that's where that's gonna be at and then, you know, preferably you want them all to be contacted. Now when you have filmed the wedding, um, oh by the way, the only person who, let me show you how to actually like change the status. The only person that can change the status is the one it's assigned to, which is why I couldn't do it on Daniel, which will be the videographer. So even though the photographer will be on there, and, and I'll tell you why, that's because we have editors and it's kind of different. Um, <clears throat> so that's why um, it's, going to be, it's going to be like that. So only you can change your status, only the videographer can, so you need to be on top of that. So let's say like I've got Kayla and A, her first look, right? This is, I haven't contacted her yet, let's say, I mean, I have, but let's say I haven't, right? I'm gonna call her, okay? And I'll click in here and I'll show you what this looks like in a minute, but I'm gonna call her, I'm gonna put in all the information and I'm gonna switch it like this to contacted, boom, it's done. It's super easy. So um, that's it. So that's gonna be in lieu of checking off a first look task. You don't have to like go like check off the task anymore. Just change it to contacted and we'll know that you've talked to them. So um, now once I have filmed her first look, okay, and I need it to be edited or her wedding day, same deal, I'm gonna change it to filmed and I'm gonna add the editor to the project, which I'll show you how to do. You come right in here and um, I can choose you know, who's gonna edit it. Every single member of the team is here. And, um, and then I'm gonna add them as the product. So let's say it's Daniel, I'm gonna click on this. It's gonna add him onto it and then I'm actually going to assign it to him. Now, obviously he's not gonna be editing it, but I would assign it to him and it, was, it will still show up on your feed, but it's assigned to someone else. So it'll still show up on the photographer's feed. Pretty much the only thing that assigning does is it just says, um, hey, you need, to, uh, you need to edit this and you can change the status. So um, let's say that like I have filmed two, right? And I'm gonna switch them to filmed. I'm gonna add the editor and assign it to them and now it's obviously up to them. So let's say like I'm McKay or I'm Andrew, or let's say I'm Andrew and um, his is, he's not really gonna have any of these cause he's not filming. He's only gonna have these. So if he's got like 10 filmed and none delivered, that's a problem, right? Like we know that there's a problem on the pipeline. You'll be able to see that, I'll be able to see that, Rachel will be able to see that and he'll be able to see that. So we'll be able to help keep each other accountable and just know where our weddings are at. It'll be really nice. So um, as he finishes, okay, He's gonna actually change it to delivered. And then um, 
that will be the end of that. We'll, we'll, we'll wait for, we'll give them about one week to respond and say if they want any changes. And then when they are done after being delivered down here, you will, the editor is going to assign it to finished projects. So we'll just keep a giant band of all of our finished projects and, and that one should only be delivered. So does that part of it all make sense? Does that part of the pipeline, basically the good ones are contacted and delivered. The not so good ones are booked and filmed. These are where like work needs to be done um, and we wanna see those numbers as low as possible. Does anyone have any questions about that? Okay, cool. <clears throat> so let me actually jump in and show you now um, why this is awesome. So, um, I mean, another reason, there's a lot of reasons, but let's come into Gentry Hirsch. Okay, so we're gonna jump into this. So I will now be booking everyone through Honey HoneyBook. We are not using Square anymore. So that is officially like come December 1st, we're not using it anymore. You can do invoicing and all the payments exactly in here. This is why this is cool. So uh, let's say that like somebody's like, oh, hey, when can I set up my bridles? And they did not pay me a deposit for bridles and you just did free work and then it's a huge mess because you don't have access to the invoice. So you don't know what they pay for. Problem solved. Um, now, every single thing that I do will be right here in their actual, like in their project. If you come to files, it's actually gonna show you everything. It's gonna show you the invoice that they've paid and it's gonna show you the contract that they've signed. And so by the time you get it, these should both be done. And so if you click on like invoice, you can pretty easily see it was just a premium video package. So if nothing changes, when you need to send the final invoice, just resend it. It automatically does tax and boom, you're done. And so um, it's gonna be really easy. We're not gonna have questions of like, hey, how much did they book? What was, you know, what, what's going on here? Um, you can even come over to payments and see what they paid so far. It's going to be really easy. Um, if some, if somebody wants like used Venmo, which is, uh, we can still do that, but it's not preferable. It's preferable. We do an invoice, if the, but if they do use Venmo, let me show you what it will look like. I will still create an invoice and you should, you must create an invoice still if they do it for final payment, just so we know how much they've paid. But this is one who just booked and they did Venmo, okay? <clears throat> the invoice has been viewed. And if you get it, like, if you, if you get it assigned to you, they've already paid, come over here to the activity and I will have sent them an, an email saying, I got your Venmo payment. But I'm still gonna create an invoice for their records and also so you know exactly what was paid and exactly what was. So this is kind of a unique package here. Like, they only want, like, you know, one hour dinner coverage and then an hour and a half reception. Like it's a little bit different. So you can see exactly what I did and what I, and like you can even see the email conversation I had with them <coughs> during the booking process. So that's going to be really nice. Um, I will say this. Um, it, the only negative part of HoneyBook is that um, it takes like two to three days to process payments. So what we're going to do is like on the second phone call that you do with them, which like, let's say their, 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 their wedding's on like a Friday or Saturday, try to do it on like Monday and say, hey, I'm gonna send you an invoice, please pay it today. Then by the time it, you know, that you actually shoot the wedding, it's hit the company bank account and we can go ahead and get it paid, like get, get you paid. So um, <clears throat> if they wanna use Venmo, technically it will be faster. You still have to go create it, an invoice, just don't send it. Um, well, I guess you can send it, it doesn't matter. But you, like, just you know, send them an invoice. They don't have to pay it, but if they want to pay on Venmo, just maybe make a note that they, you know, send send them an email like this and say that they did pay on Venmo, and I'll get you paid as soon as for videographers. The footage is uploaded for photographers to do the wedding. Anyone have any questions about that specifically? Okay, cool. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just assuming everyone can hear me, but I can't hear anyone because everyone's muted. Um, so here is another, um, big benefit and kind of, and kind of a cool thing about, um, about HoneyBook. So there are bait when you come into a project, okay. If you click on project details, um, we are basically going to say the, the total budget that they've signed the contract for the date of their wedding, their name. And if you, and you can put in their venue and location when you're on the phone call and you're doing things like song choice or, 
You know, like, hey, a special request, they want bridesmaids or her dad passed away and they want a picture, anything like that. This is where you're going to type it. Photographer and videographer, everyone can edit this. So you're going to type it right here um, in the project details. You can access it right here. Okay, so that's where you're going to be actually typing in your notes. This is like stuff that doesn't need to be sent out to everyone. It's not urgent. It's not a notification. It's just like, here are some personal notes, right? Here's the reception address. All that stuff is going to go right in here. Um, now the other cool thing is there are two different tabs in the project folder and this is like the most crucial part so please listen up. The, the first tab here, like where I was on Asana, you would just chat with only the contractors. There's no chat feature, there's an email feature. And on the front, on, on, on the main page for your project, the client is a recipient. So never type, this client sucks or whatever because it's going to send it to them as well as everyone else on the project. So never do that. This is helpful because if you like, are, are, you know, if you have, if you do the first look video, um, we want you to come to the main project file, not the first look project, but the actual wedding day file. And you're going to say your first look video. Hope you love it. You're going to post the link right here. Oh, just kidding. That's weird. You're going to post the link. And um, you're going to actually send it, and everyone who's a part of that task is going to get an email notification that the first look video was sent out, including the client. So that's awesome because that means, like, when you're delivering the wedding video, like, you're not commenting, and then Rachel's trying to pick it up and send it. Like, you're just going to send it to the client when you finish it. What that, what that does mean, though, is that there's a lot of accountability. There's no one screening it. And so if the client responds and they're like, I hate this, or... Uh, the, some changes need to be made. It's going to get sent to the news feed here and everyone on here is going to get a notification. So um, one thing that we are implementing is Daniel, in addition to being like the team lead for videographers, he is also going to be the team lead over the editors. And so he's going to basically be in charge of making sure that quality assurance is there and all of our videos are good. Um, I promise I wouldn't bring stuff up unless I've been yelled at for something. Um, and so it, there has been issues with it before where a client gets it, but um, this is going to just basically increase accountability because you're messaging the client and the team. Now, if you want to have a private chat with only the team, like maybe like she gets upset about something and the team needs to know down here on the bottom of, of this little sidebar is a chat room. Every single um, wedding will have one. This is where you can talk to only who you want to talk to. Okay, this is where Rachel's going to be added on all of the chat rooms. So if you need to like talk to Rachel about it, or if you need to like say, hey, she got really mad at Brennan, blah, 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 blah. This is where you're going to do it. Please, 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 please do not make the mistake of sending that to the client. Um, we got to make sure it's only in the chat room, but this is where you can chat. Like if you need to give a first look video away, you say, I need to give a first look video away. You can add, you'll be able to add one of our you know, team members to the private chat on this specific project and you'll be able to say, hey, can you take it? At which point you will go assign the other project to them. Any questions about that, about like the team communication or the chatting aspect? Okay, <clears throat> cool. So hopefully that will be a lot easier for everybody. Um, one thing that this is also going to mean is that all of our editors are going to like, like when, when you, when you post a comment saying, here's where the, you know, the, the Vim, uh, Vimeo information is, we're actually just going to have you send it to the client as the editor. So you're going to come on here and I've actually created a template. Okay. So you can scroll down and it says, send out video. And I've literally made it so easy for you. So it's going to like, it's going to populate the person who actually booked in this case, it's her mom. And you're going to post the Vimeo link. You're going to post the Google Drive link. It's a template. It already sounds really nice. You don't have to do anything. It's giving them an opportunity to take the survey. And it's from Rachel, which we might change to Daniel since he's going to be over edits. And you hit send. And guess what? Everyone gets a notification. The, the, the bride gets her video. Because what, we, what we've had is we've had like build up where maybe like we finish a video, but Rachel is on vacation. So she's not sending it. And the client's mad. This is going to make it really easy. However, it means it needs to be ready to go by the time it gets in the hands of the client, right? That means that like by the time, because if they respond angry about it or wanting changes, everyone on the task is going to see that it will show up right here as an email from her. Um, 
if it's minor changes, okay, if it shows up and it's like, hey, can we just like, you know, change the, change like one clip of somebody that that, that person wasn't in our wedding party, I don't know why they filmed them. As an editor, you're gonna get, the, you'll, you'll see it, you'll get a notification, you can change it and you can send the, you can send the reboot. Yeah, you have a question? Did somebody have a question? Okay, does that make sense to everybody? I hope so. Um, the, so like, so like Ben or Brandon, if, if you guys are editing your own, um, if you're editing your own stuff, you are the one that's actually going to send it, right? Instead of just like posting the links, it, you, you, it's the same exact amount of work, right? You're going to do, you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to send it, um, and they will get it. So just make sure that it's ready. And if there's a pattern of like, you know, the video maybe not being up to quality or not being, um, something that, you know. If it's something that maybe they're not happy with, then, you know, at that point, Daniel will kind of talk to you as being over the editors and we can either work with you or figure something out to try to make sure that we're getting the edits where they need to be. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, for photographers, when you finish, same thing, come down here to templates, send out photos, and we've basically built the exact same thing and you just post the link to the Pixie set and you're done. So really we're just taking, um, Rachel doesn't have to do that part. She doesn't have, like, it's just going to mean that when you're done, you don't have to, like, take the link and text them. You send it right here. Everyone can see all the stuff. I can have access. You know, Daniel can have access to the photos if he wants, and it'll be great. So um, it's going to be a lot more convenient, and every single thing that anyone's ever done will all be right here in the activity feed. And he, and he, if she's had a conversation with a team where she's saying, hey, guys, I just want to, like, give you a heads up. I didn't change the date or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, everyone who's assigned to the project is going to see that in the activity feed and it's going to be super, super nice. Um, yeah. Any questions on that? Cool. <clears throat> um, so now let me go over. So one other cool feature is the calendar. So click on the calendar and, um, it's automatically going to sync up with our Google calendar. So we're not actually going to have to like put these weddings, um, we're not actually going to have to put these weddings in the calendar anymore. It will automatically populate them for us. So we come over here, like it's automatically going to create an event for us when they book. These are all doubled up because we already had them in there and then we transferred them over. So um, <clears throat> that's how to use the calendar. It's going to be really nice. If, you, if you're still on the BTM calendar, it'll everything, everything that comes on a HoneyBook will automatically populate on your calendar for you. Um, um, with that, still use the actual Google Calendar app to mark unavailable days. If you could do that, um, that would be awesome. So um, by the way, real quick, just to make sure, I'm just gonna like make sure everyone can hear me. I'm gonna say, can you hear me? And if you can, and if everything's good, we just go like that real quick, because I can't hear you. So if you could like that, just so I can know that's gonna be on the group Facebook page, so I can know that you can hear me and everything is going good. I'll jump back to that in a minute. <clears throat> so um, yeah, so that's the calendar. Um, thanks guys. You're awesome. So, um, hopefully that will be helpful for you guys. Um, now here's another thing. You're only going to be able to see your projects. And so, um, if you need to, like, if you need to switch weddings or something like that, like if you need to switch your first look video or whatever, which once again is not preferable, um, you can look on the calendar and you can see everyone's weddings and then, um, like pull up your Google calendar and then like if you need to contact and say, Hey, Daniel doesn't have a wedding that day. Let me reach out to him and ask. So, um, that'll be kind of a cool aspect. So now let's talk about how to manage the extra sessions. So if they already have a date for their extra sessions, um, when they book, then, um, I will put it in for, well, Rachel, Rachel will build their actual separate thing. First look video and bridles. Like we're just going to put those together. Okay, so there's not a million of them. We'll put that if they book them both, we're going to put them there together. So um, both of you, both photographer and videographer, are going to be on here. But let's say Daniel's like, okay, Emma Schroeder, I can't do that by the time she. So Daniel's going to go on. He's going to actually like set the date that they said, and then he's going to add like like I showed you. He's going to go ahead and he's going to add. Um, he's going to make some phone calls. He's going to say, hey, I need Tim to cover this for me. Once he gets it. He's going to come down here, he's going to add Tim, click on it, and then he's actually going to assign it to Tim. Here's one thing, though. If you, even if you have contacted them, you have to switch it back to booked because if you switch it to Tim, that doesn't mean Tim has contacted them. So 
we just want to make sure that like they have like it's just been really frustrating for them when they're not getting you know like it just seems like we're treating this like it's some crazy shift so um, make sure you do that guys make sure if you're gonna sign it to somebody else you will still be on the project but if you sign it to Tim first of all add him to the project change it back to books and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna assign it to Tim and when, once that happens, that means you can't switch the stage anymore, but you can still chat and like watch the first video and everything. Make sense? So same thing with engagement, same thing with bridles. If you've got to switch your extra sessions over. Um, sorry, did somebody just ask a question? Um, I had a question again, just kind of going back to the first look and bridal projects. Um, so Rachel's going to make the separate projects for those is the only time she's going to put the date in for those when they already have one or is she going to ask if they have a date? A lot of them won't because a lot of them want to talk to you first, right? And yeah. so what will happen is on your first phone call, um, you're going to be talking, you'll get their information in here, right? Like their, their phone number should be in here. Um, you know, like anything that we migrated from Asana, we just copy pasted all the details in the about the project. Um, so you're going to call them, you're going to talk to them, you're going to make notes, and then you're actually going to go back over to your little um, personal page, open up, like if, 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 open up the one that Rachel made for you that says Emma Schroeder's, click on that, and then you're actually going to like set the date, and you know, you're going to set the date yourself, and once you've set the date, it's going to like, automatically fall in line with, if that makes sense, like with like your project dates, like what's coming up. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Cool, yeah, so um, yeah, keep them coming. I mean, questions are great. So I just, I think this would be a really great way where everyone can actually see what weddings they have. Um, there's no limit on team members that we can add, so no one's gonna be like using Asana as me or anything, it'll be really easy. But everyone's gonna be able to see what weddings they have in a row. Uh, when they've got them, you can click on it, see what's booked, see what's contacted, see what's filmed, see what's edited. Um, Rachel's job is basically going to switch to become more of like a hawk, like in a good way. She's going to just like, she'll have access to everyone and she'll just be basically be like switching back and forth, like through everyone, making sure that like there's not too many here. Um, this is also going to be a really good way where like you will 100% know like which weddings you have and have been assigned to you and when they're coming up. We did have a situation about two weeks ago where there was confusion with a contractor and they did not show up. And I got a very angry phone call from the groom saying, where were you? Um, he, it, was, it was a mess. So um, that will not happen anymore. It'll be really good with the new software. And um, this will help everybody know exactly where you need to be. Um, and it'll be great. I mean, I think it'll be easy to assign it to other people. Everyone's going to be on the projects. Um, like I said, if you do have questions about specific parts like invoicing, I mean, we've already been over it, but if you've got questions, please head over to the YouTube channel, um, BTM university. We'll answer those. If you do have further questions that you encounter, please, um, text me and I'm happy to go ahead and create it. Or actually, you know what? Text the team lead. Text Daniel or text Amelia and just say, hey, um, I, do, I do have this question. Thank you. Yeah, that was a great point. Um, yeah, and, and that will uh, that'll be kind of how we're going to structure it from here on out. This is not me saying, like, don't talk to me. This is me saying, like, I want you to have somebody that's going to be more accessible than me that you can actually talk to. Um, I, I, I'm not going to shoot as many weddings. And one thing that I'm going to be focusing on is style shoots and ads and all that stuff. So I'm not going to know it as well as somebody like Daniel or Amelia who actually digs, digs into it and does it often. So this is, we, we are 100% switching over to this on December 1st, which is why all of our edits have to be up to date by December 1st, or at least closer, because when we completely switch over to this, we need to start being able to use it here for everyone's sake. So um, start using it now, start, start, like jump on, start making those phone calls. We've probably booked you some for January or February that you have not seen on Asana. Anything for like January, it's like we're, we're running a Black Friday sale right now and we've booked quite a bit for you guys and so we'll be plugging those in. Um, and I will make a very specific video on training on how to do the breakdown for Black Friday. But just so you know, the deal is it's, it's the same thing, it's the normal 1200 plus a free engagement or bridal session they can pick 
And so it's great for the photographers. Um, you're still going to get paid the exact same amount. So the company is just taking less. So we're only taking 500 in the deposit. And then that extra $100 that you're going to get paid is at, you're going to build that at the end. So you're going to build 700 at the end. That makes sense. So you're still going to get paid the exact same amount. We're just trying to book you weddings that have bigger upsells and the company is taking less. So I will do another training video that explains that, but we have booked a lot. So we're, I'm trying to get you guys all booked for January and February. If you, you know, if you're available and you're free, but, um, are there any questions about like any of this? Um, it's really important that everybody knows how to use this because we don't want to, you know, we want it to just be really smooth for everyone. We want it to be really great for our clients. Um, one thing too, sorry, Lat, before I open up for questions is we are going to have some crucial training videos coming out. Like Rachel's going to do a customer service training video. That is something that we need. Um, and if brides are angry, we're going to try to like have you, you, me and Rachel, talk to them instead of them just screaming at me. Cause it's a lot, it's really easy for them to like come scream at me, but I don't know the whole story. So a lot of times brides are going to make up crap that you guys did that you probably didn't really do if that makes sense. And so like I'm hearing the story and I'm just like, oh, I don't know what to do. And um, so we're going to try a little harder to like bring everyone in and talk about it civilly with the client. So they're not just like going over your head and, and being rude to you. Um, so we are going to try that, but, um, guys, you're awesome. Any questions, feel free to, if you have any questions, unmute, ask any about anything in general. I had a quick, sorry, this is Tia. I had a quick question. Yeah. You mentioned team leads. Can you yes. go over that again? Absolutely. So, um, so what we're going to do is just to make it a more, um, efficient process. We're going to have Amelia be the photography team lead and then Daniel be the video team lead. They're the people that kind of shoot the most and are boots on the ground the most. They're also doing this full time. So they don't have any other jobs. They don't have school. This is their like full time gig. So they have the time to be able to do that. So um, they are going to be your resource for basically like questions, training. Um, they're going to kind of be the ones that you go to if you're concerned about something. If you're like, I don't know what to do in this situation. They just like, they want me to be at the temple for five hours. Like, you would go to them and kind of talk about it. And um, the reason for that, once again, is not me saying, don't talk to me. That's me saying they're going to know better than I will in a lot of these situations how to handle it. Um, they're also going to be texting each of you in the next week or so to set up like a Zoom meeting kind of like this. And it's going to be like a, a brief training on like some of the new things that we have. And then also a forum where you guys can say like, hey, this is what's not working for me or this is what is working for me. Like, I'm really confused about this or – we, you know, like one of the things that we're talking about is like, for example, that they brought up is like, we need to probably either stop taking weddings where the reception is on Friday and the wedding's on Saturday, right? Because then you, out, you only get one wedding when you could take two. Things like that, um, that's what I want you guys to be like discussing and, and basically like bringing up issues like that or concerns that you have um, with it, like in those meetings. And so that like, and then what, what, what's going to happen is we'll, We'll try to all make decisions. I'm going to be focusing really heavily on marketing to get everyone more weddings. Um, did that answer your question? Yes, that was awesome. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. So um, another thing too is just know we're not actually going to be expanding the team anymore beyond what we have. So um, we're going to keep it like, unless somebody has to leave, but uh, we're going to try to keep it exactly where it's at. And so I, I feel confident that we'll be able to get everybody a lot of weddings um, and we'll be able to keep everyone fairly busy. Um, I don't want to like dilute it too much, but I do want you guys to, you know, have all the weddings that you'd like to have and book out as much as you feel like you would like to be booked out. And th that is another thing too, is like, if you, if you are overwhelmed or if you're feeling like you need to, like if you want more weddings or less weddings than you currently have, like the team lead would, would kind of be the person to talk to and say, Hey, listen, I, 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 I am, in, I have this situation in my life. I want either more or I want either less. And I can't, I don't feel like I can handle it right now. That would be kind of who you would talk to and they will help, they'll help you figure it out. I mean, we have a lot of weddings, you know, I, I don't anticipate it being a problem. Like right now you see Daniel booked out like for a bajillion, but like these are people who booked a long time ago. Right now we're booking for January and February. So you're going to start seeing a lot more sign in the next month or two. So, um, any more questions about anything at all in general? Awesome. Um, we are going to, um, yeah, like we'll, we'll be, um, hopefully doing more zoom meetings so everybody can be in their PJs and hang out. And, and the point is just so you don't have to like drive somewhere. I want to keep it easy. I want to try to keep it short. 
Um, but if you do watch a BTM University video, which I, some of those on there, like I'm going to teach some of my like marketing techniques or tricks or if you, cause I want you guys to grow your own business. I really do. Um, I want you to be able to take weddings for yourself where you can get paid more. I really do. Like I'm, it does not bug me at all when that happens. It makes me really happy. I want this to be like a launching pad. And so if people are actually watching those and utilizing those, then I am 100% happy to, um, to kind of do more with those. Uh, Megan McDonald, can HoneyBook only be accessed through desktop? Oh, great question. Thank you. There is an app for iPhone. Um, they are working on one for Android. Um, but you, I actually use the Android. Just I just open my browser, and it's pretty intuitive. But go download the app if you have an iPhone for HoneyBook. But um, you know, and, and just plan on using it. I mean, if you're just doing phone calls and stuff, like I like to have a laptop in front of me, anyways. I know Tim does. It's it's an easier way to type and stuff, so you're not talking and typing. Um, but yeah, there definitely is an app, and I, I will let you know since there is one for um, for Android. Any other questions? Anyways, uh, sorry. Let me finish my last thought. What I was saying. I want you guys to be able to book your own weddings. I encourage it. I think it's great. Um, I want this to be an opportunity for you to grow. But yeah, if you, um, if you, I will post like if, if those are being utilized. I will post more tips and tricks on YouTube to help you grow your own businesses as well. So please utilize that. Also, people who watch BTM University videos, comment on all the videos you watched it, and you could just say something like "cool" or "I watched it" or whatever. And that's also going to be a factor in like us picking who gets a hundred dollar gift basket every month, just cause like we really, um, I mean, yeah, like we, we love it when people know how to use the system because then it, you know, it makes everything um, go better. Um, oh yeah. Uh, oh, just one more question. Yeah. Um, so kind of on that note, um, if we have our own clients, um, do you know the details how we could use HoneyBook? Um, for ourselves or would we just need to like pay for it on our end and that's a good question um, hmm I will look into that for you <clears throat> um, it actually wasn't crazy expensive so it's originally four hundred dollars a year but they also have a half off deal so it's only two hundred dollars a year and so it just kind of depends on the size of your business and how many you're booking but like for us obviously that's no brainer to have 20 people on here all doing this and managing all these weddings. I will look into that for you though, because um, I imagine you would be able to use your same account and you could have your own, like, well, actually here's what you could do. So you could go like when you log into your projects, you can actually create a new project and it should only show up for you, I think. But we'll look into it. Um, I am not positive, but that's a great question. Also one more thing as well is, and I have not tested this yet. Um, it is possible that the only the person it's assigned to can actually like receive the money in the bank account. I don't think that's the case. I've got the company account set up, which is where I pay you guys all out of and where QuickBooks is hooked up. If you have a wedding and you're like, wait, why is it asking me to put my bank account information in when I have, when I'm, when you are sending an invoice, then we need to like contact them and figure that out. Just because then like, it's just going to like for tax reasons, I have to know exactly how much the business makes and then pay you out of that. Also you would be getting, you know, t like if you were Daniel, you might be getting Tia's money on accident. And so just make sure you don't do that because then that's going to be really messy. Um, so yeah, great question. Any other questions? Oh, how do you log in? Uh, Megan just said that. So, um, you should have gotten an email. If you didn't go ahead and comment on my little Facebook thing in here and let me know. Um, you should have gotten an email that gives you like a login. You can jump on, you can log in, you can, add, and then, um, it'll, it'll create your account and you can access all your weddings. It's cool when you have little pictures here, but it's not required. Um, anyone else? Cool guys. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for everything. Um, hopefully these new resources are good and are helpful. Um, hopefully the new team leads system is helpful and it's good as well. I think it, I think it will be, I think it'll make it easy for everybody. Um, you guys are great and have an awesome night.